Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production professional. Come join me for another post demonstration on Colour Me In. Hi, welcome back. Today, hopefully, we're going to do a short video on Avid and the import of LUTs onto your clips. This is a pretty simple thing to do, but what's really clever about it is you can apply LUTs to multiple clips prior to you editing, okay? So you don't have to worry about, um, once you get to your picture lock, you've got a thousand clips and they've all got different levels of color requirements um, from different sources and you have to go ind individually go through them and apply a different LUT. This way you can, per card, you can apply a different LUT that is appropriate. Now you can see I've got clips here that are log C. Okay, that's just me there looking a bit ridiculous, um, especially in that shot. Um, okay, so what we want to do is just jump into Resolve and in Resolve, I've got those same clips, but what I've done is I've created my own LUT. Um, and the goal of that is to, um, you don't always have to use a manufacturer's LUT. Sometimes, well, a lot of the time I find they just don't work. It's just easier to build your own. So you can see in a Resolve here, I've actually built my own. There's the source and there's the, uh, the grade. And what is a LUT basically? You know, it's called a lookup table. It's a little bit maths based. It's a color correction. <laughs> That's all it is. It's just a color correction that you're sticking on top um, in order for you to uh, edit and to get a rough gauge of the uh, colors, uh, color requirements, color space before um, it goes off to the grade. Actually, you know, you can create your own thoughts and ideas. Um, in Resolve, you right-click on the shot you're on, and you go to Generate 3D LUT 33 point cube. You can use 65. And then I've already made it up here and I've called it Mark Lut 1. And there it is, and you hit save, and away you go. Now we jump into um, Avid, and there's the same clip here, the clips here. So we highlight those clips and we just go into source settings. In source settings, you've got loads of things. You've got color encoding, frame flex, of course, and you've got uh, playback rates. We don't need any of that, we just need the color encoding. In the color encoding, you can see that we've already got some inbuilt options from Avid, and we can choose some of those inbuilt options. Um, and there are some here as well already built in now what we would need to do is is uh, go to color management settings then um, choose your LUT now I've already got the LUT built in here but what you would do is you select the LUT file that's the one there you click open and it would bring the LUT into this panel okay once you've done that um, you can then close it because um, it will now be in this drop down menu I mean, it's, it's a bit annoying. It's not like this in Premiere, lots of multiple flip down menus to choose, but, but there you go, that's Avid for you. So we roll all the way down to the bottom and we go, there's, there it is there. We click on it and then we add it, okay? And it's applied to this, to this preview and then we need to apply to all. Click okay and we're done. Now, if we go to the clips, we can see that the LUT is applied. I really hope you've enjoyed that video. It's a really simple one. Um, it's really handy when you're starting your offline. Uh, I would advise you to create your own LUT if you're experienced or semi-experienced in Resolve. So this video is about creating an external LUT and importing it into Avid. I um, hope you found that useful. Thanks, bye. If you enjoyed that video, give me a like or subscribe. Put in the comments down below demos you'd like to see next. We'll catch you next time.